This is Tom Kelly out here at Gorgoza Park. Most of us in Park City know it as a tubing hill, but this weekend it's the site of the cross country events at the International Ski Federation's Continental Cup here in Park City, Utah. For those who are not familiar with Nordic Combined, it's one of the most fascinating competitions in the Olympics because it combines the explosiveness of ski jumping along with the endurance you need in cross country. So it combines those two events, jumping at the Utah Olympic Park on the Olympic Hill, the 100 meter hill, and then coming out here to Gorgosa Park in what is without question, one of the most grueling cross country courses these athletes have ever run. At the Continental Cup here in Park City, we have athletes, uh, around 50 athletes actually, from a dozen countries around the world. It's a pretty important competition, primarily for developing athletes trying to make their way up onto the World Cup. For the U.S. ski team, it's an opportunity for athletes like Billy DeMong and Taylor Fletcher Olympians to showcase their talents, and also young skiers just coming up like Ben Behrens and others who we saw out here today uh, trying to show their skills and trying to make their way up to the top team. On the cross-country course here at Gorgosa Park, it was six laps around a, about a kilometer and a half course, uh, 10 kilometers total for this competition. It involved three different uphills and of course corresponding three downhills on every lap around this grueling, icy and fast high speed course at Gorgosa. We're here at the first Nordic Combined race for the Continental Cup 2015. Tomas Dromel just took first in a killer course here at Gorgosa. Tomas, tell us about the course today. Yeah, like you say, it's really a killer course. It's like uphills and crazy downhills turns on ice. Basically, it's uh, yeah, it's not really uh, cross-country skiing. It's more like ice skating with <laughs> cross-country skis. <laughs> and yeah, it, it's just extremely tiring because the uphills are really killer. Yeah. You started out fourth and you finished incredible first place finish. Where does that put you for the jump later on today? Uh, it's a totally new, new competition, so I just need to recover now, get my get a little bit of rest in my legs because I'm a bit tired from the uphills, and then try to do another good race, not, another good ski jumping race, and yeah, then we will see what happens tomorrow. Austria swept the board, one through fifth place today. So what comes up next after you leave the U.S.? Yeah, I need to do another good race tomorrow and then hopefully World Cup in Ramsau next weekend. Okay. That's the big goal because that's, that's my goal to go to the World Cup. I've been in Continental Cup many times, I won many times and now it's time for me to really get settled in the World Cup. We're here with Lucas. Lucas finished second place today. Lucas, tell us about the race today. Tell us about the course. Yeah, the race and the course. I must say it was the hardest race in my career and the course is <laughs> The course is just, just freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. And after the second round, I thought, oh my gosh, a number of four rounds. And then I just made it through the course and then I ended up second. Okay, we're here with Marco. He came in third place today at the race. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes at these races. They've got the waxing, Elias, shout out. You're your great waxing tech and your coaches of course what do they how do they help prepare you for this yeah they did a really good job we had really good uh, skis today and we have perfect team 
and yeah, we will see you tomorrow. We've had two Continental Cup competitions here in Park City this week, and now for the World Cup athletes, it's back to Europe. Ramsau, Austria, the next competition coming up next weekend. All eyes, though, are focused on the World Championships in Falun, Sweden. That comes up the last two weeks in February.